Hey guys, I have a new friend. Her name is Hope and she just built me an entire design system from a single prompt. Tools like Lovable, Bolt, V0 are great for prototyping, but the code isn't production ready. With Hope, you get reusable, tested and documented components with no setup needed. It means you can pass them to a team of developers to scale your application. OpenAI is built on the open source framework bit.dev and it has an AI layer that doesn't just generate code. It generates fully structured components you can actually use in production. So this is what we are going to create. All these components and they are reusable, tested and documented. So let's open one, for example, the badge. So here we have the overview with all the usage and variants, the size variation, icon integration, the colors, the preview with different variants, the tests, the API reference, the graph to see where it fits in the uh, architecture and the analytics. Here's the plan. First, we prompt Hope AI. Then it will show us the architecture, the full structure of component it plans to generate. We review that and click generate. And once everything is built, we move on the refine step. In refine, we can tweak components with AI or make direct changes in the code. And if you're working in a team, you can also run a review before the final release, which makes the components reusable and installable as NPM packages. Let's dive in. So here I'm inside of Hope and I have written a simple prompt, create a design system that fits the attached image and color palette and add subtle animation to the components. And uh, with this button, I have attached a screenshot. So as example, I have taken the website from Bit because it, I think it's very nice. And I have extracted the color palette and I have uploaded everything here. So I hit the button and now is creating uh, all the architecture. So we have to wait a bit and it will propose all the components. And here we are. Now you propose an architecture. So based on your requirement, the proposed architecture for your design system is designed to create a cohesive and visually striking user experience deeply integrated with your specified color palette and the aesthetic from your screenshot, including dark mode support. Okay, I'm not going to read everything, but I see he's proposing to create 22 components beginning by the theme. And if we open these components, we can see that we have a prompt and here is including all the colors from the color palette. And all the components are like that. And we can edit the prompt. Uh, we can also upload the file so we can modify things before hitting the start generating button. So now I'm going to do that. After we click generate, hope start building each component. And so this can take a bit of time. So go do other things and come back in about 20 minutes. So this is why. Hope isn't just spitting out raw code. Beyond the scenes, it's going through a full pipeline for every component. So it's writing code, it's writing the test, it's creating documentation, it's generating usage examples. So if something fails, uh, it doesn't stop. It actually tries to auto-fix the problem using AI. So this extra time means that you're getting components that are production grade right out of the box no spaghetti code you have to clean up later. First is creating the theme because all the other components are going to use it. And this is a longer generation. And you can see this little icon, it's indicating that it's auto fixing errors. Now we can see that the theme is generated and is working on the other components and we can see what is doing in real time. So for example, here is ensuring quality. And now it has generated all the components and we can see an overview here. Let's explore the theme component, for example, uh, because it's used everywhere. So we have an overview 
and here we have a preview and we have everything to use it how to use it with install it with npm or bit um, how to use it in the code uh, how to activate the dark mode how to customize the theme tokens and here is the api then here we have the preview so we have a light theme and it's using the colors that we have uh, given in the screenshot with the color palette the dark theme uh, here a theme with overrides where the fonts are changed uh, as well as some colors and here the theme applied to a component so here to a button uh, then we have the graph and we can see where this component uh, is in the architecture and the API reference with the tokens, uh, the theme controller, well, everything that you can imagine in a documentation, it's uh, there. After generation, we go into the refine process and we can adjust each component in two ways. Write new or updated prompts for the AI to generate uh, or tweak or we can edit directly the code. This is ideal for developers who want full control and many fixes will take much longer for AI than for a developer to fix it. So let's now explore the code by clicking this button. So here is the code of our design system right in the browser and we can make quick changes. Of course, for more advanced work, it's better to download everything locally and I will show that in a future video. So for example, here I can see my theme. Okay, so here I have all the breakpoints. Here I have all the tokens, all the colors, uh, the dark ones. And let's say if I want to change, I don't know, the text input, I have access to everything here, the CSS, um, all the code is here, so I can tweak it quickly from there in the editor. Once everything looks good, we're ready to snap our components. So we click here on snap. And you can think of snap like a git commit if you're a developer. It captures the current state of all your components at a specific point in time. Snapping also creates a lane, which is kind of like a GitHub branch. You can use this lane to easily change, collaborate with your team, or set up a review process before merging back into the main design system. So in short, a snap is similar to a commit, and a lane is similar to a branch for developers in GitHub. So this gives you version control, not just for your code base, but for your entire component system. Now snap also takes a moment to complete, and here is why. When you snap, Hope doesn't just create a version, it also triggers Ripple CI beyond the scenes. Ripple CI, it's like a continuous integration pipeline made specifically for component system. It does several things. So it packages your components, it runs final builds, it uh, validates, so linting, type checking, unit test. If anything fails, you will see it right away and hope will attempt to auto fix minor issues. So now all the components are built and let's take a look of what happened in Ripple CA. So I see that I had some mistakes and if I go there, you see each dot represents a component with log, tests, preview, And so this makes debugging really easy. And so if a component is read, uh, generally uh, there is a test error, a type error, or a build error. So here, this one was failing. So I take a look at the logs and I can see it was a linting error. So we have fixed it. And then here we can see just the component that has been fixed. And now everything uh, passed, so we can see the 
complete graph here. All my components are here. So I can see everything. Test, API reference, graph, analytics. And I can also see them from here. So everything is fully documented. Now everything is green, so we are ready to release. After Snap, we also have the option to go through a review process, especially useful if you work in a team. So your teammates can preview the components, leave comments, approve change, similar to a pull request in GitHub. But for now, we skip review and we go straight to release. So what happened? on release, uh, it's going to merge the lane back into the main design system. So here the lane is initial design system and is merging it into main. And it also assign version numbers to each component and it publishes them so they're fully installable like NPM packages. And now it's released. Now that it's released, if we go to the main branch, we can see all the components that have been released and we can see on each component the version tag. That means it's officially released and ready to use. So now if I open a component, we can see the preview, the test, the API reference, the graph, the analytics, and in this button news, we can see that we can install it with npm, yarn, pnpm, or with bit. We can also see the code here. I can now install these components in any app using a simple NPM command or reuse them in another Hope AI session. By the way, if you're using tools like Lovable or V0 to prototype, there's a great workflow where you can extract the prompt from your prototype and pass it into Hope. That way, you go from prototype to production ready without rebuilding from scratch. These tools work really well together, but we'll explore this in a separate video. So now you've seen how to go from prompt to production and vibe code a real reusable design system without touching boilerplate or setup. This is just the beginning. In the next video, I'll show you how to build a full website using this design system. So make sure you subscribe if you want to follow the full build. And if you're serious about building full stack apps with AI, not just learning tools, but actually shipping products, I run a private community where we build real projects together. We go deep into workflows, AI tooling, stack design and monetization, and it's built for dev designers, founders who are ready to move fast and go pro. You'll find the link in the description if you want to join. And if you're a founder or company looking for help turning your prototype into a real product, I'm offering free strategy calls to map out your idea, choose the right tools, or even explore working together. So if you're serious about building, grab the link below to book a free call. And if this video helped, give it a like, drop your question in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe, especially if you want to see how we turn this system into a full site in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.